All right, we're testing these shark shields. We've got the GoPro set up in the end here. We've got the shark shield secured to the end. The tether's running nice and freely up here and back out to the end. There's no kinks in it. It's fully charged. You can see the light on the GoPro footage while it's underwater to prove that it's on. And we're gonna put a fish frame on the end here. We've already burlied up. We've got a few sharks around. The idea behind these tests is to see what kind of reaction we get from different shark species using shark deterrents along our coast. Here you can see a lemon shark coming in for a look at our bait. If you look in the middle of the shark shield you can see a small green light which indicates the shark shield is fully charged and functional. If you look closely here you can see a hammerhead doing a white circle around the bait. Followed again by the lemon shark coming in for another look. Shark shields work by creating an electrical field around the user which causes spasms and discomfort to the sensors on the shark's snout known as the ampulla of Lorenzini. They use these short range sensors for looking for and tracking their prey. We are going to continue testing these shark shields on all predatory sharks found along this coastline until we've covered all species. This test is one of three tests that were conducted in the northwest of Australia. Jump on terraaustralis.tv to check out the other clips. This has been another segment from Terra Australis. Come and explore the ocean with us.